What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video drawing Edna E mode from The Incredibles. Let's begin today's lesson by breaking down the basic shape of the head. We're gonna start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. So we'll start at the very top. It's gonna work our way down towards the bottom. Now in the center of our page, let's draw another line going across from left to right. So we'll start with the left side and then extend that out towards the right. Now I'm going to use these lines to help us create a circle in the center of our page. From the middle, a step up towards the top. Let's mark off the top of our circle. And then we want to take this distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Let's repeat that same process across this horizontal line, taking this distance and measuring it over toward the left and then the right side. Now to create our circle, all we need to do is connect the center of each point with a curve. Let's start with the top left. We just want to rough this in. The circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and placement on our page. We can always go back and just smooth this out. Now let's add two guidelines coming down the side of our circle. So we'll start with the left side and then the right. I'm also going to add a line going across the bottom of our circle. Now that we have a circle and guidelines, let's start blocking out the basic facial features. We're going to start right in the center and draw in the nose. So we're going to step up, sketch out a circle, and all the way around, and then back up towards the top. Now we're going to set the eyes along this center line. So starting from the left side of the nose, clear the eye coming down, and then up on the outside. And let's draw the same shape over on the right side. Let's draw on the top of the eyelid, starting back over on the left side. We'll draw a half circle, going up and then back down. Let's push the pupils towards the inside, starting from the center of the eye. Curl this down and then up with a half circle. And do the same thing on the right. And then leave a gap along the bottom of the nose. Step over towards the left. We're going to draw an oval, going up and then down for the nostril and then draw the same side oval on the right. Let's add a fold along the side of the nose. Starting on the left side, we're gonna curve this out and then back in towards the bottom of our circle. And do the same thing on the right. Let's place the mouth along the bottom of our circle. We're gonna connect these two points with a curve, going up and then down. Now let's draw on the upper lip. Step up in the middle, curve the lip going up and this out and then down towards the corners of the mouth. Let's place the hair bang on top of the eyes. From the top of the left eye, we're gonna step down, sketch a line going all the way across from left to right. Now you wanna add some more shape to the cheeks. Let's start from the left side, put this down and then in towards our bottom line. And then bring this in towards the neck, to right about there. Let's bend the side of the neck, bringing that down towards the bottom, towards the shoulders. And we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Now from the bottom of the neck, let's step out, curve the body, going out and then down. Now we're going to draw the bottom edge of the hair. Let's start from the base of the neck, bend this out, and then up towards the left and right side. Then from the outside, we're just going to curve the head, going up, and then bring that in towards the top of that circle. Go all the way around the right side, and then back down. Now we're also going to see the earlobes in between the head and the hair. Let's start on the left, just bending this out, and then up. Now we're going to draw two large circles for the glasses just on top of the eyes. Let's start on the left side of the nose, go all the way around towards the outside of our circle, and just pull that back in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up towards the same height, towards the side of our circle, and then along the bottom. Now that we have our basic sketch, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now we're going to go back and refine our shape and add some more detail, starting with the nose and work our way around the sides, up toward the top, 
and in towards the nostrils. And we'll go down and add some more shape to the mouth. Adding a pupil on the inside of the iris, and a small highlight on the right side, and I'll just darken up the pupils. Also adding a lighter shade to the iris. Draw the inside edge of the frame around the glasses. And now I'm going to go in and start darkening up our contrast. Starting with the eyes. I'm also going to shade in the top of the nose and then fade that down. And I'm just going to darken up the outside frame of the glasses. shade in the top of the ears and just fade that down. Also adding a very subtle shadow just underneath the glasses on top of the cheeks. 
and we'll give the head some shape by adding some shadows along the side. So we're going to darken up the edge of the hairline, going across, and we'll shade this in, starting along that line and just pulling this up with the side edge of our pencil. Darken up the back side of the hair, just along the side of the head. Now I'm just going to darken up the hair across the bottom, starting along this line, just adding some rough texture, going up across the side of the head. And do the same thing on the right side. Now let's go in the opposite direction, starting from the top of the head. Just working with the curve of the head coming down and out towards the side. Now as we do this, we're going to start to see a little bit of a highlight in the center area of the hair. Now as we get near the end of our drawing, we'll continue to add some more shadows and textures and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Edna E. Mode from The Incredibles. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.